Hey, hey, everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another video. Hope everybody's having a great day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the embedded Java that comes with Minecraft if you install the Minecraft launcher in Multi MC. All right. And so, if you don't know the reason that you don't have to install Java or whatever when you play regular Minecraft in the Mojang official launcher, is that it embeds uh, a JRE, a Java runtime environment, inside of its Minecraft folder that it utilizes. Now it does that to make it easier for you without having to install it, plus it gives them a known version of Java to develop against. So this is the recommended uh, version of Java that Minecraft is using internally, Mojang's using internally, so things probably work best for it. Uh, the advantage is you don't have to have a system, a separate system Java installed, you know, with continual update, security patches, all this kind of stuff. This runs separate in its own folder. It's not accessible uh, from normal Java processes, your web browser and stuff like that. Um, but you can access it with MultiMC. Now, guys, this is a more advanced video. If you don't know what Java is, if you never install Java, then you are best to just go the normal route and install Java 8 the normal way. And I'll leave a link in the description to the page that you can get Java 8 and then a video on how to install it. So this is for advanced users, guys. All right. So we're first going to do it on Windows because it's a little bit easier. So, you know, let me switch over to my Windows machine here and you'll see that Minecraft is the launcher is in your program files x86 okay that's where it's at so just go to your program files any windows user should know how to get to that uh, x86 and then minecraft and then inside that minecraft folder there's a folder called runtime and we want to go inside that runtime and you're going to see there's a jre x64 now yours could be 32 possibly but you can't really play the newest versions of Minecraft if you don't have a 64-bit system because it requires at least two gigs of RAM. Uh, but inside that Minecraft runtime, JRE X64, you're gonna find a bin folder. All right, so go into the bin folder and then down inside of that, you're gonna see that there is a java.exe right here, java.exe, right? So we wanna get the path to that. We want to uh, just click up here in your bar, not selecting any of the items in it, just click on the far right side, and that'll allow you to select the path. So copy that path to your clipboard, and then remember the name, java.exe, because we're gonna need to add that to the path, all right? So go into MultiMC. Now you can either do this per instance, or you can do it system-wide. We'll do it per instance to start off with. So. I've got a new instance here that is a 115.2 instance. So right click on that and choose edit instance, right? And then go down to your settings. And then here in your settings under, well, in the edit instance under settings. Oh, come on, Windows, stop. I already did that guy, you gotta stop. Um, then it gave me a um, uh, the ability to see the Java setting. So I need to check this button, Java installation. Then I want to just paste inside of there what I got on my clipboard from copying that path. All right. Then we we'll need to go ahead and add a forward slash to it and then java.exe, the name of that file. So forward slash it says add that to the path, then java.exe. All right. Now we're using that version of Java. So if I launch, then we'll use it. It says it right there. Java version is, well, it'll tell me after it launches. I, I actually have to get scroll back. All right. Java version is 1.8.051. All right. So that's what the current Minecraft is using on your system. 5.1. Java 1.851. All right. And that'll update. You update your browser. If they change the versions, it'll update. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to go ahead and kill it. I don't need it to launch. Uh, we could see that it did launch. Uh, all right. Now that's how you do it per instance. So if you just wanted that single mod pack to use this, 
to test it out and stuff you could do it by the way you could see if it works by hitting the test button there and it would tell you if it's a valid instance and all that and it tells you it's reported the version and all that all right now that's per instance so you could choose if you want to do that if you want to test it at first and isolate a mod pack or what have you you can also do it system wide in settings all right so just go under settings and then go under java and then do the same thing we just did right there you know now you can also browse for this if you don't want to get the path you can just click the three buttons and then go to your program files minecraft runtime x86 all that kind of stuff and select it if you don't want to type the path then you can select it all right so that's another option uh, and i'll let you decide how you want to do that all right so that's it for windows guys now on mac it's a little bit different all right because it's in your system minecraft folder all right so your system minecraft folder is in library application support minecraft library app so your home folder your the one that has your account name on it and your applications library application support minecraft so you go inside of that guy that folder right uh let's see where i'm at yeah let's let me go back just so you can see all right here's the system minecraft folder then there's a folder runtime inside of there then there's the jra x64 but we have this thing on mac that's jre.bundle all right so we need to go inside of that so we need to select it right click on it and choose show package contents all right then we'll see that inside of that there's these folders contents code signature home mac os we want to go in home and then bin the bin folder inside of that and then we'll select that java right there all right so the best thing to do at this point is just get info on it and then copy the path just copy that path and then again we'll need to add the java name to the end of it so i just select all the path right there and uh we'll have it ready so go into your multi mc create a new instance uh, it'll work on any version of minecraft uh, this is just a 115.2 uh, you know it's java will work on any version select your java installation right there select all and then paste that string that you got inside okay it'll tell you exactly where it's at uh in the jane uh, jre bundle contents home bin then we want to add a backslash onto that and then java all right backslash and java so we're referencing this file java okay so now once we've put this in then we can just go ahead and launch as normal and you can see it's using 1.80.74 on this one so on the mac it's using a a more updated version of java surprisingly than it is on windows so see you've got the best java for your system as determined by mojang uh, to work with their software so that's pretty cool uh guys it's kind of complex to find the paths and stuff but once you've set it up you can do the same way uh, as you've done before you can either set it up per instance i'm gonna go ahead and kill this instance uh, set it up per instance or globally in java per settings and and however you want to do it but that way guys you don't need to have java installed on your system system wide if you don't want to do that uh you know the only thing is you have to have the the mojang launcher on your system uh, but if you're running amidst or just any other thing you probably want the Mo mojang uh, launcher on your system anyway uh, so anyway that's going to be it for this video guys i hope it's helpful again it's advanced so you know you're kind of on your own i'll show you how to do it uh, i'll answer some questions about it but you know it's just one of those things that i figured out how to do it so i share it with you anyway it's so a scott omato thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next one have a great day Bye bye